What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Chris, the Nightmare Areola. Chris says this, and as he predicts the super fight between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury, he says that Joshua is too civilized to beat Fury. Chris Areola believes that Anthony Joshua has become too civilized to defeat Tyson Fury in their fight in June. The former two-time world title challenger, Ariola, 38-6, one draw and 33 KOs, sees Joshua as having tasted too much of the good life after eight as a professional. With a net worth of 100 and, or a net worth of 80 million, according to Celebrity Net Worth, you can understand why Ariola would believe the 31-year-old Joshua lacks the hunger that you see from the fighters that aren't sitting on a massive fortune. Nevertheless, Fury 30 and 0 is wealthy too, and the way he allows his physical condition to erode in a fight in between fights is truly alarming. It's easy to believe that the 32-year-old Fury's head isn't into the game the way he'll need to be to have a good shot at beating Anthony Joshua. So, Chris Ariola thinks like he's using the um, rest in power to marvelous Marvin Hagler, Hagler that is hard to run in pink pajamas. Okay, he said it best. And what do I think about that? Um, that's a true statement, but how do you apply that to Anthony Joshua? Civilized. Okay. Where have you seen Anthony Joshua struggling or slacking or partying too much or doing something else that makes you think that he's out of focus with the fight at hand? I mean, what have you seen or what evidence do you have to support what Chris Ariel is talking about? Counterpunch. See... I always chop things up. When a person says something about a fighter, you always have to see or, or, or analyze is what that person's saying based on fact or based on an opinion. Because if it's based on an opinion, you can chop that up as haterade. Easy. That's an easy peasy. Right? That's the, because you can draw the conclusion you haven't seen Anthony Joshua get overweight You've never seen him overweight. You've always either seen him in the gym or wherever. I know he's he has a pretty private life with a circle of people around him or whatnot. I get it. Childhood friends and what have you. Um, but most of the time, you see him training in the gym of some shape, form, or fashion. You don't see him uh, pull a Tyson Fury. Okay? Now, I would have to call this haterade. Now, if we was going to reverse what he said, well, hey, I don't think, I think Tyson Fury's became too civilized. If anybody's shown, shown civilized or comfort, it's been Tyson Fury. Now, of course, it's social media, so you can't judge a book by its cover. You can't do that. You can't say, hey, because you've seen Tyson Fury have a little shot, uh, a whiskey and a glass to make you think he's partying. You can't believe that Tyson Fury uh, for word value is drinking 10 pints of Guinness and or lager a day rather right you can't believe that that should be mind games all the way through but if Chris Ariola was to say that that's based off what we seen or what it, we appear to see okay so at least we could say well yeah Tyson if he said that about Tyson Fury you know, that's a fair assessment. But of course, Tyson Fury is a master in mind games. He'll have you thinking that he's walking with a limp, his ankle's messed up, he can't he can't move around like he's supposed to and goes out there and dominates Wilder like he did. Those type of things. Oh, um, I'm, I don't think, uh, I'm, I'm getting fat. You, you've seen him running, jumping to the lake. We don't know how old that video was for, for really... You know, for all we know, that could have been a while back. And he, he just he, should, he just reposted it and made people think that he looks like that. Okay? Oh, I haven't been training in a while. Okay, well, but based on what he said and what he's showing us, we can believe that on the other end. 
Because like I said, Tyson Fury is rich too. Okay, he made what? I don't know, 25 million, right? For the for the wilder fight, I mean, you can't blow it. It's hard to blow twenty five million dollars, or well, how much ever he ended up with in this short span of time. Yeah, they haven't fought anyway, and that's another thing: the inactivity for Fury. Okay, you could chop this up as well. Maybe he wasn't training. You know, we know he's not hadn't had a fight. So you see what I'm saying? So I, I look at what Chris Ariel is saying is just haterade because there's nothing to support what he's saying. And the only reason he's, he's using this opinion or sharing this opinion is because he favors Fury. That's plain and simple. But that's what it seems like to me. You guys tell me what you think about Chris Ariola's comments. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys can counterpunch. Peace.